One, remove the instrument from the aseptic packing. Two, connect the cable of instrument to the bipolar output receptacle of the high frequency generator. Ensure the high frequency generator is under off or standby mode. The plugs of cable must be fully seated in the bipolar output receptacle high frequency generator. Three, test the coagulation mode. It is recommended to set the power from 25 to 35 watts. Coagulation is achieved by bipolar output power of high frequency generator, which is generated and activated by a foot switch. If the output power appears weak at normal settings, check connections, cables, high frequency generator, or in the instrument before selecting higher output power. Four, check if the jaws of instrument open and close smoothly. Five, after all inspection and preparation, close the jaws and introduce the instrument through appropriate sized trocar sleeve. The jaws of instrument must be closed when passing through trocar sleeve. Six, coagulation. Pull the movable handle and grasp the tissue with the jaws. Release the movable handle to make sure that the tissue is well placed in the center of the jaws. Grasp tissue only between the flat portions of the jaws. Over grasping can lead to insufficient cutting and coagulation. Activate the foot pedal to start the coagulation. Keep the foot pedal activated until sufficient coagulation has been achieved. Smoke can be observed from coagulation site. Release the foot pedal. 7. Cutting. By pressing the trigger, move the cutting electrode forward until it is ready to enter the tissue. Activate the foot pedal. By an additional pressure on the trigger, move the cutting electrode forward through the tissue. When the cutting electrode is in complete forward position, start moving the cutting electrode back again by slowly relieving the trigger. For sufficient cutting, keep the foot pedal activated until the cutting electrode is back in its starting position. Please notice that the cutting procedure is performed electrosurgically, not mechanically, which is why no extra force is needed when moving the cutting electrode forward. Release the foot pedal. 8. Usage of the ratchet. Slide down the ratchet can realize the permanent closure of the jaws after pulling the movable handle to close the jaws. To open the jaws, pull back the movable handle to the end and release. The jaws automatically open. 9. Cleaning the jaws and the cutting electrode. It is recommended to clean the jaws several times during the procedure to ensure optimal coagulation. Remove the bipolar forceps with cutting from patient and gently clean the jaws and the cutting electrode with a piece of cloth with chlorine, hexamine, or sterile water. For more information about SciTech disposable bipolar forceps with cutting, please refer to the instructions for use or SciTech website at www.scitech-group.com.